Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> and in the last video, I showed how I cleared out all this moss because calling these orange shrimp they got to be too difficult. And as you can see, we got a lot of red ones and some brown and some ones that look kind of green. So, cold shrimp, just like all the other lines, take out the undesirable ones. So then you only have the ones you want left in there to breed and carry on their genetics. So, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put an algae wafer out. And that will gather them all up. But that also has the downfall of that is it's hard to catch just one shrimp. So what I'm going to do first is start catching the undesirable ones. And then once they start getting hard to find, then I'll put in some algae wafers. And they'll all huddle up in one big pile. Now, not every single one of them, but most of them will. You get them all drawn out in the open. And we can see just how many bad ones are left that we got to get out. Of all my lines, I'd say for sure this one is the one that's fallen furthest behind. Because of overgrownness and <laughs> it's top tank and it's super hard to get into. So, we'll get a start on it. And then, of course, watch the end and we'll see all the call shrimp we let loose into the call tank. I never kill my calls. Some people get confused about that. I never kill a shrimp. The ones I don't want in the colonies come and live in here. So, I want to get started on this and I'll show you where I end up with and some progress along the way. So you can see we got a pretty decent start so far. Still lots and lots, especially over here. Because I got I was working on this side. But I think I have more space over here and now it's time to pull out the algae wafer secret weapon <laughs> get them all piled up right here and see what we oh you'll see what I'm talking about okay I got the algae wafers we want to drop them all so that they're in roughly the same spot in the tank and it will not take long and we will have a lot so I'll check back in here in about a half hour to an hour and there'll be plenty of shrimp right here we get a good eye get a good eye on what needs to be done. The crowd is gathering. <laughs> so, look at them green ones, that is weird. And another thing I've noticed with this, they get I don't know what the word is for it, but like food stupid. Like if there ain't any food out for them to grab at, they're way harder to catch than if they got a bunch of food that they can get. You see they're all making the march over. So before it gets too crazy over here, I want to see how many I can catch out. Because eventually there'll be so many over here, it'll be impossible get one from the other 
and I said it half hour to 45 minutes it has been let's see 17 minutes to on the nose since I dropped those algae wafers in that's what we got now so I'm gonna start catching some more okay so I stood up there and caught some up for about a half hour and it took about a half hour break and it is now about an hour and five minutes since I put the algae wafers in still a lot of bad ones but definitely less so I'm going to get back up here on my ladder see how many more I can get this is going to be like a multiple round deal here since there's so many I let this moss go so long in this tank it was getting out of hand and I thought I was doing a good job calling and apparently I wasn't doing that good because there's too many bad ones hiding There's still lots and lots of good ones. So. Some of them are downright green. That's pretty wild. Okay. I'll catch some more out. Okay. So here we are. After two rounds. These guys have been in here for about an hour and a half some of them have been an hour and 40 minutes so and there's a lot there are some good ones in there but <laughs> tell you what to be honest a lot of cussing and crying catching these guys because for whatever reason these guys are the fastest hardest to catch shrimp I have it just seems like So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in here and we'll cut some more out. We we'll always like to show this because it's one of my favorite parts. All the coals. Woo, look at them. Oh my gosh. All the orange coals going in the coal tank. All right, I think I'll do. I'll I'll catch some more. This night's still kind of young, but it definitely looks a lot better. You can see there's still some red ones and some of them brown, green looking ones, but it's a lot more orange than it was. Sitting on the ladder's killing my feet, so I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> and I'll check back in after the next around the calling. Looking a lot more orange, and I like it. Alright. It's about almost five hours since I started the process and this is the next batch we've had got go ahead and put and there's some good ones in there some like good red ones that's pretty wild and some more green ones i think i got it just in time a little bit longer of not clearing that out and getting this cold correctly and it been bad. There's still lots of little ones that are almost impossible to get. They're kind of that greenish color. Not a lot, but fair bet. We'll go ahead and put these guys in the coal tank. Go. 
cool, cool. Let's say these guys in the coal tank got it pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's take a look and see how much better it looks. You can see there's still some red ones in there. But overall, we are looking tons better. It's getting to the point now where when you got a hunting pack for them, it's impossible to catch just the one. And the great big pile of them. And this set of tanks in this bear. <laughs> Not a whole lot of shrimp going on over here. So I think that's the end of the first part of it. I'll come back again. This tank's gonna this tank took a lot a lot of work just to get to this point. It's gonna be a lot of work to get it back in order, but it'll be there. It'll be good. It's already well on its way. So that's calling my own shrimp tank. Thank you all for watching. Bye.